So the, it's March 25, we are in Tunis, and uh, we are here to organize a, for another workshop of the Popular University of Social Movements. It's the most uh, international uh, workshop that we ever organized, because 16 countries are present here, and um, we are discussing as a general topic uh, the, the question of dignity. Why dignity? Because dignity is the general topic of the World Social Forum that will start tomorrow here in Tunis. And we thought it would be interesting to have a general discussion within these premiers on the, uh, the question of dignity. In these two days of work, a very intense debate, uh, we uh, had plenary sessions and then we have sessions by groups. Um, uh, initially, we uh, created a small groups on uh, a random basis and uh, uh, then today we organize ourselves in groups by common consent. So four groups and we are going to have uh, a glimpse about uh, you know the main ideas of each one of the four groups. And the four groups are, the first one is uh, uh, dignity, feminism and women issue. The second one is dignity, colonialism, and post colonialism. The third one is democracy, economy, land, and biocultures. And the fourth one is dignity, democracy, participation, and social movement. was uh, how do we understand feminism and we agreed that we have to understand feminism in the plural it's always in the plural but uh, at the heart of this understanding uh, we need to put the question of the colonial and the question of the need to decolonize feminism and to recognize the uh, historical hegemony of Western feminism and how it has um, projected onto many other parts of the world and uh, its assumptions about gender equality in particular kinds of relations between men and women. And this is going to help. We also know that the rights of women and the feminism are the question of the affirmation of our autonomy, of our physical integrity, of our individual integrity, of our spiritual and emotional de fazer ouvir as nossas vozes, de poder participar nos espaços públicos e ter também a participação nos espaços privados dos homens. There's also a big debate in our group about how uh, the legacy of feminism is also related to the legacy of modernity and that this creates many problems. Uh, we have a critique of uh, possessive individualism, uh, but we also recognize the importance of rights uh, discourses in feminism and the importance of uh, relating to struggles around rights. But we have a big uh, critique of rights and that the paradigm of rights uh, is also a very limiting paradigm and uh, there is a need for feminisms to look beyond this paradigm and to look for alternatives beyond this paradigm. Paradigma dos direitos humanos nos limita, limita a nossa abordagem de dignidade. A dignidade traz sempre este paradigma e nós mulheres uh, lutamos neste caso por ter mais dignidade dentro do nosso contexto, integridade física em relação à violência que é praticada contra nós. Então a centralidade dos direitos humanos é, uma, é, é um conceito uh, colonial e a questão da dignidade nos traz de volta para 
abordagem olhando ao ser humano, olhando à mulher, no contexto específico, cultural eh, e social que ela se encontra. Uh, we think feminism is central to the question of the vision of an alternative, that it carries a vision of an alternative uh, for the whole of humanity, not just for women, but for women and men. Um, and that central to this is the need for and the search for an alternative conception of power. And that even in uh, counter-hegemonic movements, the dominant conception of power continues to be a masculinist conception. Uh, central to the question of feminism also is a new ethic of care. Uh, and a new uh, political culture around care. Uh, we think that uh, it's very important to get uh, beyond the current dominant civilization to an alternative civilizational logic, beyond capitalist modernity. And feminism brings to this its opposition to racism, to ethnocentrism, to anthropocentrism, to homo economicus, and to heteronormativity. Uh, feminism uh, asserts the need for many new universalisms against the assertion of any one universalism. O feminismo traz crítica à masculinidade, questionamentos e à cultura de que o centro de tudo não é o homem, não é o masculino. Os nossos espaços reivindicamos e questionamos, demandamos que se questione como é que tem sido partilhado espaço para as mulheres, espaços públicos, espaços privados, incluindo o Fórum Social Mundial, incluindo as nossas sociedades, os nossos países. Há necessidade de se refletir sobre como é que este homem, esta masculinidade é construída sem fazer uma reflexão profunda sobre o espaço das mulheres. So also central is the question of alliances, about how to build alliances both among feminists uh, and between feminists and non-feminist movements and between women and men. Uh, we recognize there are many differences among us as feminists, uh, but that feminism as a social movement has dealt most fully with the question of diversity and differences among us. Uh, but this remains uh, very difficult and we need a culture of generosity among us. Uh, and we also need to uh, cultivate this possibility of the Participating in the World Social Forum is important for changing the political culture, the global political culture. And we talked about the value of dignity and uh, the issue of dignity in our political struggles, and particularly in relation with colonialism and uh, coloniality and decolonial options. And um, in our group, we talked about the particular experiences of colonialism and coloniality in Tunisia, in Eastern Europe, and in Mozambique. And that created a, a frame of reference that was only possible here that already gives a, 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 an alternative political vision that we can transport further to our struggles. Uh, for my part, I argued for the need, uh, seeing from Eastern Europe, from the historical experiences in the past 20 plus years, of the opportunity and need to decolonize Europe and uh, uh, bring that to our struggle. Uh, nosotros, yo hablé desde América Latina. Eh, Ovidio ahorita mencionó otras partes del mundo, pero yo hablé principalmente de América Latina desde los movimientos indígenas y cómo los movimientos indígenas están trayendo, están subvirtiendo el colonialismo, cambiándolo, volteándolo al revés, a partir de inspirarse en sus cosmologías ancestrales, en sus modos de hacer, en sus conceptos de tiempo, en sus conceptos de persona, en cómo respetan la naturaleza, Y esa es para mí la más profunda descolonización posible, la que, atra la que viene desde las raíces de los pueblos originarios en América Latina. En el caso de la carama, 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 la la التي اندلعت في تونس وانطلقت إلى البلدان العربية الأخرى بعد الربيع العربي إعادة النظر بعمق في المقاربات وفي تضامن الشعوب بعضها مع بعض من أجل خيال جديد هذا الخيال الذي يجب أن ينطلق من تجارب كل شعب 
ومن واقع كل شعب نحو افاق جديده وخيال جديد Our group discussed uh, dignity in the context of economy, land, biocultural reality. And the members were Adin from Brazil, Raul, Ecuador, Frederic from uh, France, Peru, and the US, Camon, Nepal, and the US, and Eva from Spain. Uh, we discussed. Uh, under what conditions dignity arises, and uh, other economies, uh, and the continuum of different kinds of economies, uh, the importance of dignity arising when life is not separated into different realms such as the economy, politics, family, community, spirituality, but is part of the whole, and of not separating the reproduction and production of life between humans and non-humans and other than humans, but rather that it is a co-creation between all. And now we will hear parts of this from Kamoid in Nepal and from Raoul in Kichwa. Dignity, Atma Samman, Nepalima. This is what we have in our retirement. He just said you are the only German man. अर्थतंत्र तो समाज राजनीति तो प्रकृति लाइस एकदम अलग रहा है प्रश्न हो चुका है तो नगर तो आपको सम्मान बुलाएगी तो सब लाइ एक एक हम अपने जीवन लाइ निरंतर तर दीदी लोगों का तरीका हो जीवन निरंतर का हो तो कैसे बस प्रत्येक प्रत्येक दिन में कहीं ना कहीं न्यू काइंड चीज तापुन y mata cada chay dignidad humana chay dignidad humana ca runa mantaja parlar chay manta yucanchi minchi mana runa runa ya hay espacio causante yucanchi causante urcua yacua liwan ibawa Tukui cai pi tias kaman, cai manta, cai dignidad kan mana runa kunawan. Tukui ya imagina komunidad para kausanche cai mi dignidad humana, dignidad yo kanchi. Nepali itu kita bawa dengan mereka ini hasil atau semangat ni, atau yang kita ingin cakap ni, ini jual hamil dharma lain selain rakni bunyi, tapi ni perkara ini sastera ini, kehidupan itu dharma anusaha, dharma ini anusaha kehidupan lain selain rakni, ini selain ni ada atau semangat bunyi, mantra, mantra macam. So this is group four. Uh, our focus was on uh, dignity, uh, democracy, participation, and social movements. And uh, we decided to report about our work, each one uh, in his own language or her own language. And so we will start from Claudio, from Chile. OK. For us, the discussion and the proposal that I thought has to do with the dignity today, as well as the process de la asistencia como una forma de construcción de dignidad. Una, en el entendido que la dignidad es una construcción social. Y, y eso, eh, desde la perspectiva de que las resistencias, las diferentes resistencias, pueden llegar a ser eh, procesos de, de la construcción de esta dignidad. Y cómo desde la autonomía y la autogestión eh, podemos ir construyendo dignidad en la resistencia. Mi nombre es Isabela, yo soy de Brasil. E a mensagem que hoje a gente quer passar é não é possível haver dignidade 
às custas da indignidade dos outros. E para construir um mundo em dignidade, um outro mundo possível em dignidade, a gente tem que democratizar a democracia, trazendo junto as diferentes perspectivas, ações e lutas pela dignidade. Meu nome é Boa Ventura uh, e neste grupo uh, pensei que uma das questões mais difíceis para a teoria democrática uh, que, pode, que pode ganhar exatamente com o conceito de dignidade é a ideia do papel da religião no espaço público. E quem diz religião diz também a questão da espiritualidade, a dimensão do transcendente, do imaterial dentro da vida, que é tão importante para as cosmovisões indígenas, como para muitos países que não seguiram o modelo ocidental da secularização. E, portanto, eu vou abordar este tema da relação da dignidade com a democracia, tendo em vista a questão da religião e da espiritualidade. Olá, sou João Manuel de Portugal. Uh, a mim, o uh, que me interessou neste grupo e em discussão com todos é a questão do círculo da dignidade e a pertença. A quem pertencemos ou que pertencemos e o que essas potências nos permitem fazer ou nos impedem de fazer. E a questão central é quem define as potências. E chegamos a uma, a uma frase, a um desafio, que é dignidade sem opressão. Meu nome é Micha, e eu me sinto que todos os homens e mulheres na política e na política e na política e na My name is Dhruv. Uh, I relate uh, dignity and democracy to violence, resistance and suffering. A more deeper, loaded and substantial meaning of dignity comes from the experiential use of suffering. And then in violence, self-infliction or self-immolation is already a claim to a dignity when a person thinks his, he's dignified when he's inflicting violence on himself or herself and the resistance expresses itself in, in many subjective forms through which we can see dignity in various diverse uh, expressions of resistance and which, which has a direct relation to dignity. My name is Cristiano. Uh, for me, the uh, most interesting thing in these two days conversazioni sulla dignità ehm, è stata l'individuazione che la dignità è il dialogo perché l'essere è relazionale e quindi da questa relazionalità emerge che il dialogo è, eh, è fondamentale e nella democrazia eh, dare dignità alla democrazia eh, significa espandere questo dialogo mentre nella democrazia rappresentativa il dialogo eh, ha luogo soltanto nel momento delle elezioni quando gli elettori sono sedotti eh, dai candidati per eh, questioni di interesse, quindi del voto, eh, il concetto di democrazia per avere una maggiore dignità eh, ha bisogno di, di espandersi attraverso un dialogo che va al di là, che va al di là del momento delle, delle elezioni. E quindi eh, la democrazia, una democrazia democratizzata è quella democrazia in cui eh, lo spazio di incontro e la condivisione del potere è molto più ampia di quello cui siamo abituati eh, con la democrazia rappresentativa.